This is what Lena Kiel would look like today, now six years old, in an age-progressed photo from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Authorities say she disappeared when she was three, last seen on December 20th, 2021 in San Antonio. Surveillance video shows her at a playground at an apartment complex where she walked away from her mother and was never seen again. Her father, through a translator, spoke in 2022 on the one-year anniversary of her disappearance. It was very painful for me and especially uh, I couldn't tell my wife that today is the one year. She's in very bad shape and uh, she's she was crying all the day. The San Antonio police chief saying then I understood how he felt how the family felt uh, that she's still missing but uh, unfortunately uh, we just haven't come across anything that has led us to her. San Antonio police say last month they got a tip that claimed Lena was buried in a field a half mile from where she disappeared. After searching, police say the tip wasn't credible. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children says their forensic imaging artists use Photoshop to create age-progressed photos. They spend maybe six to eight hours uh, with each age-progressed photo, and they get quite attached, our forensic imaging artists, to the child and to the, to the case as they pour over uh, and create these age-progressed photos. There are a couple different ways they do them. If we're able to collect them, we collect what are called reference photos, and those are photographs of close those family members, usually parents, siblings, uh, and their photographs taken um, at the age the child would be at the time that we're age progressing the photo. Even without reference photos. They're going to look at the eyes, the ears, the nose, and features. And ultimately what it is, it's not an exact science, but it is an estimate. It is an estimate really designed to spark recognition. The center usually does photos every two years after a child goes missing until they turn 18, then every five years. The hope is cases won't be forgotten. It's to really keep that community engagement and keep them aware that this little girl is still missing. Angela Shen, Fox 7 Austin News.